All right, we're out here at the range. We're going to be playing with the new Rodzilla Raptor. So this is how I'm choosing to carry it to the range. You can see it's just a simple little tool bag. It's actually the same thing I've used to carry some other uh, front rests. And uh, once I get this set up, I'm just going to show you uh, something that I've removed from this that is not necessary, but just more focused on my style of shooting. So let me get this unpacked. I will show you how it all gets set up. And here it is out. Now, there's obviously some washers and, um, uh, you know, like a big round nut that's going to go on here to tighten up. But I wanted to show you, because of how this is designed, it has a square, you can see right here, it has a square nut that fits into a channel under here. And because of that, when you rotate, it holds it in place real well so that you can easily maneuver it up and down to create your level. And then obviously you'd have the lock, um, you know, kind of the big lock ring that goes on here, and that's gonna get you situated. You also have your traditional uh, elevation rod that's on the T-Rex, but then as I pointed out before, if you don't have this, or for some reason need to make an adjustment, maybe you put this in your range bag and you wanna lower this to put it away, you can grab this big handle here and go ahead and turn it. So he gives you definitely some different options there. Uh, the joystick is still your traditional one. Now he is working on a new, uh, hopefully I should have it shortly uh, to show you, but um, it'll be an adjustable so you can interchange different lengths depending on the foreign that you have. Uh, this one has the new, the new felt blocks on it here. And I'm a big fan of this style. Um, we're seeing a lot of front rest manufacturers go to a more firm side impact versus a sandbag. Obviously it still has your F-Glass compliant bags that are on the riders. And the front is essentially the same. You've got your tension screws and then the front access for the joystick rod. So we're gonna finish getting this set up. I do need to make the adjustments for my forend on this and we'll get shooting. All right, what you can see here is everything's fit real well now. So the pad has just enough pressure on the side of the stock and this side too. It still gives it you know, plenty of ability here, but if you look, I'm trying to rotate this and there's virtually no rotation in it. So that tells me it's just right. So it's giving enough recoil without losing any, um, you know, like lateral motion off it. So let's, uh, let's start having some fun. So here's something I'm going to tell you. If you notice, I don't have those lock rings on because it turns out I forgot them at home. And you know what? It hasn't affected my stability one bit with this thing, which is pretty amazing considering it really should, you know, be locked down in the legs. But because of the way those square nuts fit in, it actually keeps it pretty stabilized. Now, obviously, I probably wouldn't get away with it on something like sand or grass. But um, in this particular situation off a bench, pretty amazing that it held up like that.
We are going to switch gears now. This is my NRL slash Benchrest 22 gun. This is set up in my Benchrest configuration. So I've got my front bag rider set up on it. I've got my, uh, this is my 22 DEMA bag. So it's set up for the wider back keel of this MPA stock. But we're going to give this a try. Exact same thing. Now, something I didn't talk about before is the fact that I don't have a four end stop on here. Now, the Raptor does come with it. Uh, I've shown it in um, kind of my initial video. Uh, I'll show it again when I do a full review next week. But uh, the reason is, is because all of my four ends have, see that little stop right there? So it actually stops on the front end. And I do that because it saves a lot of weight and I like the consistency. But let's give this a run with the 22 and see how it performs. All right, this is gonna be my 22. You can see it still slides real well in there. And again, I know this isn't ideal and I certainly recommend it, but I don't have the locking rings. It is having zero impact. I'm actually gonna show you some of my target results here at 100 yards, just to show you that it isn't doing anything negative to my impacts. That's not a bad looking group. Let's shoot a couple more, see what happens. Got the magazine reloaded. Let's, uh, let's send a few more down range here. That rest is running nice and smooth. Obviously the 22 doesn't have a lot of recoil, but uh, you know, this gives me all the control that I need. And uh, even with one little flyer down there, I don't think I have more than a inch, inch and a half group. So, all right, range is going cold. Time to come back in a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and head down. This is a hundred yard range I'm at. Just finished doing all that shooting off of the new Raptor. And I just want to show you, even without those lock rings on there, before I even pull my target, I just want you to see what's still possible. And to be honest, it's only going to improve when I throw those three lock rings on. And that was just my oversight. Uh, I was in a hurry to get to the range and left a couple things at the house. But I was still amazed how stable it was. So let's take a look here. So uh, these are five shot groups out of my seven wind thumper. So five shot, five shot, five shot. These are just some tuner settings I was doing. So that's good. Uh, that was another five shot group out of my wind thumper. That was just my break in one. And then here's my 22, um, you know, not the best there. This was just sort of a random thing I was doing. And then uh, over here, you can see, uh, once it's settled in, you know, these are some pretty good five shot groups at 100 yards for a 22, uh, especially because we got a little bit of rain coming down on us and stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, that's only going to tighten up once there's, you know, even any of that wiggle taken out. But, you know, especially with my big center fire, this just proves that, you know, it was still hammering even uh, as it was. So a uh, really great first run with the Raptor, really happy with it. Uh, we're taking it to Coalinga for the California State Championship 
in a couple days. Going to shoot the entire weekend off that. I'll do some status reports throughout the weekend there and uh, do a final kind of recap next week after I come back. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.